Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and we are back for another Throne Thursday. This time, we are up to episode 7 of season 1 of Game of Thrones. You win or you die. And we are once again joined by Tyler Calvert. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. And Alyssa's back. Yay! Yay. <laughs> a little bit of a new setting there, but I'm glad you were able to come and join us this week and record. But Alyssa, rest assured, did watch episode six in the interim. But I guess we can kind of get your thoughts, Alyssa. How did you feel about episode six? I thought it was okay. Um, I was pleased by a certain death. Um, in that show, in that episode, I was unmoved by a heart eating scene, which <laughs> you guys make fun of me that I have very little response to things. And so I was just watching her eat that heart and I'm like, hmm, Game would, of Thrones. But, would you, would you be on board, Alyssa, to be a Dothraki Khaleesi, a pregnant Dothraki Khaleesi and well, eat that? I'm a vegetarian, so no, uh, <laughs> probably not. Uh, yeah, I, he was I like forced it. to retake his job. <laughs> yeah, and then, an and then he was very uh <laughs> and then he took it very seriously yeah. when he sat on that throne <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but also last episode as we continue along this interactive recap uh, to talk a little bit with the list as we go Braun was Tyrion's champion and defeated the knight from the veil vale and set Tyrion free of the Tully sisters of Catelyn and Liza. So how'd you feel about Bronn there uh, stepping forward to help Tyrion escape? It was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, that like that little that kid, story. that little uh, breastfeeding kid. He's, he's so strange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Did you like Tyrion's funny. little uh, confession stories? <laughs> yes. I love that. And like, the kid was very, he's like, what happened next? I was like, that, that kid, he was so enthralled, yet he was still so ready to just throw Tyrion out the window. <laughs> Go go through the whole. He, he just wanted him to go through the whole so he could get some more milk. Yeah, that's he's all just, he wants. He's thirsty. <laughs> but yes, as uh, we were talking about a little bit right before we got on camera, Ned continued his investigation, looking through that like history book that he had received, going through the different Baratheons throughout history, and seeing that literally. Every single recorded Baratheon in that book, as well as Robert and his brother Renly, which we have met without on that hunting trip with him, all have black hair. And we also know that Rob's bastard child, Gendry, also has black hair. But it looks like we are honing in on a very specific aspect of that mystery there. And as you kind of mentioned, over <laughs> with the Dothraki, Paul Drogo did more in this one episode than he's done the entire season. <laughs> he, Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Viserys comes in drunk, disrespects the sacred lands of the Dothraki, and threatens to cut the child out of Daenerys' stomach and leave it for Paul Drogo as he takes her back if he doesn't get what he was promised. And in return, Khal Drogo melts down some gold and gives him a golden crown <laughs> by pouring oh, molten gold <laughs> over his head and killing Viserys. So, R.I.P. Uh, obviously, you were happy that Viserys was dead. Did you find it like a a gruesomely poetic death for him? <laughs> Um, I guess. I, I don't know if I would phrase it that way, but uh, I, I found it a satisfying death. <laughs> um, I've been, he's been kind of top of my most hated list uh, for pretty much every episode here. But Bran, he finally got to use his little saddle that Tyrion designed for him, though I am not sure if it's still functioning after he got like sliced off of there. <laughs> by yeah. the wildlings who attacked. Uh, but Rob coming out, doing more than he's done this entire season as well, last episode. So lots happened in episode six. And we still have not seen the littlest uh, one of those things, the yeah. one that does not exist. 
<laughs> the little the little star, little rickle or rockle. Rickle. Rickon. Yeah. Rickers. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I thought you were saying his real no, name. I was just rattling off weird. What I things. usually say. So let's go ahead and get into episode seven. You win or you die. On being this, still this, kicking. This theme music For is now. just forever implanted in my brain. <laughs> For now. <laughs> he didn't fight yeah, the dust that, in the middle of the I'm street. About. He wasn't left for dead in the street. <laughs> <laughs> I am concerned. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking worse every episode. And your back doesn't He's really going in, in on this animal. <laughs> like they're, they of they pulled no punches here. Me. You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. We've done some other stuff too with the sister. You're in pain. There's me with her astute observations. Your brother? Oh. Or your lover? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Target. And they're all Jamie's. <laughs> Thank the gods. And that night he crawled on top of me, stinking of wine, and did what he did, what little he could do. <laughs> And whispered in my ear, Liana. Oh man. Your sister was a corpse and I was a living girl, and he loved her more than me. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. They said both the name of there the episode no and the name of the show. Yeah, I love it. Ugh. I love when they name drop. <laughs> Ease into it's it. entertaining watching your guys' faces to this. <laughs> like Larry's like, what? but Tyler's like Ease really into, into it. it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just confused. Like, like what is, like why? Like what is? This? <laughs> it's one of those times in Game of Thrones where they just keep going with something that's so random. <laughs> You'd see death creeping towards you a few inches at a time. Maybe they'll end up being an item. He needs, a, he needs a new love skull. interest. The Iron Islands. Maybe he needs a new love interest. Why not be a wildling? I guess. Are the two mutually exclusive in your experience? They are always constantly. I mean, like, man, everybody's just like taking their jabs out. I mean, he deserves the roast that she gave him. But. <laughs> well, we're back to the wall well, for the first time location. in a while. Yay. <laughs> we're back. We're back, baby. After a few I episodes, we're back. Ugh, this guy. Just push him off. Get him off. He's going to them. Gonna die. That's, that's, he that's my guy. Just them. Hearing them giggle. The they giggle. Well, then he Happy can go see season. Roz and her. <laughs> Don't you, Miss Gus? I agree. Let's get some Roz action. We were hunting a bull. Oh, no. Good. Kill all the ones we don't like. <laughs> Not a boar. I figured it was going to be if a boar was going to take him out. <laughs> Show me how to be a man. Poor Joffrey. Stop it. Poor Joffrey. What's wrong with you? I was never you? meant to be a father. <laughs> Everyone to taste the boar that got me. <laughs> a power move. I leave as the lot of you. dinner and we're all going to gonna eat the animal that's going to eventually leak in my death. Out, all of you. <laughs> Well, I guess prematurely R.I.P. Robert Baratheon. I like that they're finally starting to kill people in the show. <laughs> That's what you're excited about, death. You I'm damn glad it's been people I don't like so far, Every but I imagine table. there'll I be people I say. like eventually. Until my son Joffrey comes of age. His son, Joffrey, eh? Oh, Ned. Uh, Ned changing up the words. My son. Make him better Ned than always me. always feeling awkward every, here, every time he hears uh, no. my son. <laughs> <laughs> I would I'll be, too. i everything I can to honor your memory. Give me some of the pain and yeah, let me die. kind of a crappy way to go out. I must admit, of all the ways I thought he was going to die, it definitely wasn't going to be death by war. <laughs> you can go home now. You've been served. 
<laughs> that's what it looked. That's what it felt like to me. <laughs> you can serve. This time, I guess a positive serving. <laughs> no, it's like, come over here. You've been served. Run away. Seven kingdoms. Drinking wine while she's pregnant. And say, <laughs> rise. I guess that's like okay back that in wine. Game of Thrones time. That you first. The tension. They they be snatching people with those. <laughs> You're allowed to look happy. It's going to be a ranger. Is that why you don't like him, Alyssa? Because he'd be saying that kind of stuff to you. <laughs> He's too happy. <laughs> John to the stewards, Ransa to the builder, Ichil to the builders, Gordo to the stewards, Nico to the rangers. Probably a new expression from him. He's not happy about that. Hello, John, feeling stupid after his temper tantrum now. Yeah. What's best for the kingdoms? This is an interesting plot development here. What's best here. for the people we rule? We all know what Stannis is. He's not a king. I am. The way Ned looked up at him. Yeah. I will not dishonor Robert's last hours by shedding blood in his halls and dragging frightened children from their beds. Ned's being too nice. I said, snatch the children. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to, let, he needs to, to, he needs to take tonight. action. Now leave us. Oh, God, a little finger. He got up his sleeve. You would be wise to deny it to him and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Do you have a shred of honor? Joffrey is king. You are huh? now hand of the king and protector of the realm. This is quite My an interesting game they're all playing. <laughs> You suggest is treason. Oh, a lot of backup plans. Only if we lose. Now that the throne is vacated, make peace with the last as you say. Game of Thrones. Well, at least the he wolf? looks like he's having fun. <laughs> if the wolf dies, I'm gonna be so pissed. They're brothers now. <laughs> How cute little John is. He's so happy every now and then. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> The dog that wolf is after there? you, but what the hell? To me, ghost. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Yeah. Yeah, bring, bring this good. appendage to me. Is it his uncle's hand? <laughs> Very into him as he talks about taking the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he does seem pretty into it, I will, I, I will say. King Robert is gone. The gods give him rest. No. <laughs> Killed him off screen. I at least wanted to see it like in person, you know. All all the show. city watches yours. I fear Lord Renly has left the city. And they said, peace out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, I'm out of here. But you didn't listen to me, so I'm gone. Look at him sitting up there. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I hated him I when he was a little with brat. Like... <laughs> now he has power. May I see that letter, Sir Barristan? Robert Baratheon came in with that mail in ballot. <laughs> to steal it away. <laughs> Sir Barristan sees this traitor. Sir Barristan is a good man, a loyal man. Do him no harm. No. <laughs> not, not ne. Kill him! Kill all of them, I command it! Commander! Take the Queen and her children oh, into God. custody. Escort them back to their royal apartments and keep them there. I want That's no bloodshed. Real. Tell your men to lay down their swords. No one needs to die. Oof. Big old battle in the throne room, geez. I did warn you not to trust me. I told you he was bad. No! <laughs> I, <like him. laughs> I, I told like you him. he was bad. I told I you like he was him. bad. <laughs> See? <laughs> Literally, I told you not to trust me <laughs> with a blade up to his throat. <laughs> I, I had a bad feeling about him. Uh, <laughs> stupid Joffrey on the throne. Ridiculous. The ugliest images I've seen. <laughs> <laughs>